Welcome back to Thunderer Raceway, where it's time for the much awaited round one of the Arch Enemy series, where Holden vs. Ford and Golf vs. Momo. Here we are at Thunderer Raceway's most feared wide sea track, with a total of eight cars battling it out against each other to succeed as a team. Now, before we go any deeper, remember to give our friend at War and I4 Diecast Racing a follow on YouTube and Facebook. War and I4, your number one stop for Diecast Racing series and tournaments, with the collective cast personalities in Clyde Papa Dollars, Chuck Maverick, Scooter Douglas, and Big C. You're sure to find some best competitions around. Now, before we start, here are some of the rules and how it works from now on on team matches. First, Team matches will be based on points per lap, with four laps every round. First position gets 10 points, second gets 9, third gets 8, fourth gets 7, fifth gets 4, sixth gets 3, seventh gets 2, and the last one, 8, gets a big fat 0. Second rule, the car that flipped over on its side or over its roof after stationary will be out of the race. If they flip during motion but manage to get back on the wheels before stopping, they will not be out. Third, if the car flipped over after entering the finishing area, they won't be eliminated. Fourth and last rule, if drivers are out of the race, they will be back in the next round. Now, there will be bonus rounds and maybe, okay, just maybe, Easter eggs for the best and worst races, which can increase points. So stay tuned to the channel to find out. Let's begin with round one with Australia's favourite and that is the Arch Enemy Series V8 Supercar Championship where Holden vs Ford. Both teams are made up of four drivers from individual teams as both sides are getting ready for the race and final tuning and testing. Here are the list of drivers and their cars from Team Holden and Team Ford. Here they are at the starting line, so let's see who will get ahead in lap 1. It's only lap 1 and things are heating up. John Hansen from Holden Team took the lead against Rotary Williams from Ford Team as he lose control and Ray Miller has flipped over, pushed off the track as Justin Young also fell to pass the second term and crashed out. Both Ray and Justin still manage to stay on their wheels as they're on the ground. Time for lap 2 with Holden leading. Will Ford manage to catch up? A very aggressive takeover and bullying strategy from John now. Jeffy on the first corner as they try to put Rotary out, but it didn't work so far. Although Snowman's blue Ford Falcon has flipped, it's managed over the finish line, so therefore it's all fine. Ford needs a lot more effort if they are to catch up in lap 3. Holden is dominating the top 3 positions so far and started off with a very defensive from all drivers until the final stretch where El Jeffy blocked Rotary last minute to let key ground passes and secure the third position. This has led to a team Ford falling behind further with no chance of catching up at all. The only saving grace is that Holden's Justin Young is not at the back, but will that be last? Time for the final lap and all eyes on Ford's performance. It's a big revenge attempt from Team Ford as they've ganged up against Holden with Rodri, Arrogance, Snowman squeezing Key Grant, blocking him from the third. But then Holden's Justin Young managed to pull ahead and secure the sixth place, leaving Team Ford getting the last two finished places. Let's take a look at the scoreboard at the moment. So far Holden has 109 points and Ford only has 63 points. A lot more effort is needed from Team Ford if they are to get ahead. Team Holden is having a clean lead against Team Ford in round one so both teams are going through the maintenance and it's clear that Holden's having a good run but Ford's been struggling and the manager isn't impressed at all especially with Ray Miller's Red Falcon, which may need some more tuning and engine adjustments before round two, where more challenges are coming. The spectators at the raceway are definitely enjoying the thrills of racing. So let's look at the second group of Arch Enemy Series with eight cars forming two teams, Golf versus Momo. 
Here they are the drivers from both teams. All the drivers are at the starting gate for lap 1. Let's see who will dominate from this point onwards. Gio Millen is leading the pack, blocking Stephen King and Josh O'Hara from overtaking. But then El Diablo lost control and Barney Yasramas attempted to overtake last minute but then missed by the bumper. This could be a very bad result for Team Golf but with lap 2 coming, will this be a wake up call for the team? Oh dear, both teams have suffered major losses. After the first turn, Team Golf Scotty Speed was forced out before the second turn, but then Momo's Josh Hara also flipped after the second turn. So meanwhile, Gio and Steven still managed to hold their leads, but it doesn't look good for Momo, that's for sure. In fact, for both teams. Time for lap three. The question now is, would it get even more brutal? And the carnage continues. Barney from Momo has crashed into the wall with Hosmich lost control as well. But Golf Geo Miller has managed to airborne after crashing into the wall before entering the finish line. Leaving Stephen King took the lead and the Koya took second place as the saving grace. This is devastating for Team Golf who have lost both top performing cars. For Geo, winning is so close, right? So close and so far away. So right now, Team Momo's presence is dominating this round, but can the remaining golf teams fendering them off? It's time for the final lap, all will be revealed. The Coyote has become the saving grace for Team Golf, fending off an offensive between Stephen King and Holtzmich, and then El Diablo blocks Barney and forces him off the track for the second turn. The Coyotes saved the first position, followed by Holzmich and Stephen King taking second and third. Hey, it's only round one, we already saw several dramatic carnages, but Team Golf has really paid a heavy price for the victory. Now, let's take a look at the points. Team Golf has a total of 83 points, while Team Momo is falling closely by 79 points. Stephen King so far is the best performing driver, keeping Team Momo close to their rivals. As you can see, many of the efforts are devoted to the crash cars and the golf manager isn't impressed. Meanwhile, Team Momo is pretty relaxed at this point with minor repairs to improve their skills. Next week, we're back at round two of the King of Honda Challenge as the remaining 12 drivers compete to end the round three of the main event. Stay tuned next week on Thunderer Raceway. Until then, drive safe, stay at home and be the winner.